Microsoft Outlook, what is clutter? Use clutter to sort out those low priority messages in your Outlook inbox. The idea behind clutter is to literally declutter your inbox, which will hopefully save you time so you can focus on the messages that are most important to you. Some people might find that clutter isn't exactly for them. It is possible to turn it off, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Behind the scenes, the email server is keeping track of your emails, the ones that you read a lot, and the ones not so much. When turned on, Clutter automatically takes those messages that you may have ignored or that may not be important to you, and they're moved into a special folder called Clutter. Occasionally, Clutter might get it wrong, and there is some training involved. You might get an email that reads something like this, are these messages important to you? This is a list of new messages that have been moved to Clutter. Sometimes these might be important emails that you want to keep, but they've been identified as Clutter, and I'll show you how we can move those back into your inbox, and again, train Clutter to do what it's supposed to do. These emails aren't necessarily junk, they're just something I might want to check out later. It's important to occasionally check that Clutter folder, just to make sure that things are good. For example, here is a Clutter summary. We can see a list of to or from, and then a message count. Next, let's take a look at how this works. On the left right here, we can see our Clutter folder. I'll click on it, and you can see right away that stay on top of your email message. This is something that you'll likely see when you first get started. It's informative, and it lets you know what's going on. At this point, I don't have any messages in Clutter. I could have deleted them, marked them as junk, or train it that it's been incorrectly identified. It could take Clutter a few days to fully adapt any preferences that you've set. There is a way, however, to speed things up a little bit. Maybe there's a message in your inbox that isn't exactly high priority. It's something you want to read, but it doesn't really need to clutter up your inbox. Any message that fits this criteria, you could right-click, and then I can move this to clutter. Like I said before, occasionally clutter gets it wrong. And that's not a big deal. Periodically check that clutter folder, and then right-click, and move those messages to the inbox. Let's talk a little bit about clutter and junk email. They're filtered out before they reach your inbox. Junk email is evaluated as you'd expect. Clutter, on the other hand, is based on your past behavior, focusing on messages that you usually ignore or you don't respond to. Messages from certain people will never be identified as clutter. For example, messages from you, anyone in your management chain, as well as your direct reports. When clutter is making its decisions, it looks at different aspects of the message. For example, the sender, whether or not you've participated in the conversation, how important the email is, and if you're the only recipient. Let's take a look at how to turn clutter on or off. The only way to do so is to use the web app. Right now, I'm in the browser, and I'm going to click on the gear, then mail. Over here on the left in my mail settings, I can see clutter. Here I can see that clutter is still trying to learn how I use my email. And right here we have two different choices. When an email is received, do we want to separate items identified as clutter, and then also, do we want to be sent notifications about those messages that are separated as clutter? And remember, if you make any changes, be sure to click Save. Clutter might be a little weird at first, but just remember, with a little bit of training and a little bit of time, the idea is that this is going to keep your inbox nice and clean.